Early in my career, I um, worked a lot of representational painting and it was a challenge of studying how to represent something as accurately as possible, almost photorealistically as possible. When I was around 20, I realised actually it was the space between the objects that I was more interested in. It was what these objects carry as meaning and I decided going into more of an abstract direction. The way I work with my pigment-based paints, um, they're almost tattooed on the canvas and it's impossible to erase and return that moment back. So it's, it's a, almost a moment of, of worry, I, am I going to destroy this? And that extremity makes me inspired and uh, I fear my work equally as I love it. As a painter, I tend to think about harmonies first because I think each colour carries a certain emotion and certain message as well. So I think about that and I start layering um, some colours on the canvas with, them, with the pigments that I choose to work with. My major inspiration really always has been nature. I went through five years I was painting mists and rainstorms and sort of natural disasters and I was trying to capture that feeling that you you get when you are in the middle of a mist and you can't see further than your nose and you are and you're immersed in it and you can't quite photograph. I feel like this language is so universal and it's actually representing me the best. There is something I'm most proud with is the fact that I've so far, 27 years of painting, I've stayed true to myself and stuck with it uh, despite all the challenges.